Hi guys, welcome back to Yum Yum Telly. My name is Rachel and today I am going to show you how I make my Korean kimchi. Are you ready? Let's go to our kitchen and let's begin cooking. Our ingredients or ang ating mga sangkap to make kimchi is as follows. Fish sauce, ginger root, hot pepper powder, salt, onion, granulated sugar, garlic, glutinous rice flour, water, carrots, daikon or radish, green onions, and napa cabbage. Let's begin cooking and mixing. First, we have to cut our napa cabbage. This napa is a three pound napa or one and a half kilos. So I'm having difficulty cutting it, but I did it anyways, just like so. Look at that. And then now, this half, I will cut it in half again. There you go. And I'm gonna cut this another one. Just like so. Cutting this small will help me preserve better. And it's not gonna be hard to store because it has a smaller pieces. So now I'm gonna be cutting it into probably two to three inches. Um, and when you reach to the end, make sure to cut that core because that's the hard one. And we don't want to include that on our kimchi. So just like so. You can do the cutting at the end or you can do it at the beginning just like that. It's just as the same. There is no wrong or right cutting. Okay, just don't cut your finger and that's going to be the wrong one. Okay. <laughs> So this is my last piece. Let me just finish it. And then I am going to wash it two to three times just to make sure that it is clean, okay? And then after washing, now I'm going to salt my cabbage just like so. And make sure you keep flipping your cabbage and put some salt. You flip it and then you put a salt so it layers that salt. Make sure that all of your cabbage is going to be salted just like what i'm doing right now so i spread all those salt because i have a lot of cabbage right now but you know what later this is going to be less than half of this big bowl so just keep salting every single one of them all the crevices just put it and you will see later what's going to happen it's going to be so good so just keep flipping just like that and salt and i have a little bit more so i'm going to try to flip it a little bit more just like so and i'm just gonna finish it like that and then i will stir a little bit more just to make sure that all my cabbage is salted because that is most important part on this process we are going to do this in an hour and a half we want to make sure that the salt will penetrate on our cabbage so every 30 minutes we're gonna be coming back and see how our cabbage is doing okay so make sure to stir it really good and this is what happened on our first hour that we just do the salting see that crunchy piece well after 30 minutes or an hour that's gonna be gone so now 30 minutes have passed and I am flipping this cabbage and if you notice there is some water in the bottom already. That's pretty good. That means the salt is taking all the water from our cabbage. So it will be easier for us to season it real good later. Okay. So this is the 30 minute mark. And then after another 30 minutes and that's the time we're going to be starting our sauce our kimchi sauce okay so after another 30 minutes this is what it's gonna look like did you see more water is in there see look at that look at all those water Man. and look at that look how beautiful this cabbage is already done okay that is beautiful and that is awesome 
and we like it like that we need those water to be off our cabbage so this is the last time that we are gonna flip this so we're gonna set it aside and let it soak for the next 30 minutes on the other hand and we have a little pot a sauce pot and we're gonna put our water and then we're gonna put our glutinous rice or sweet rice flour just like so we are going to whisk this for at least two to four minutes it's not gonna be long and you will see that it will start to thicken it will look like a paste and that is the consistency we like to see so we're just gonna keep stirring so that i won't burn the bottom of it because this is going to be a quick process one two and three and you'll see it will change into a beautiful thick paste just like so see and this is between two to four minutes so be very careful if you think that you're burning the bottom lift up your pot and don't stop stirring because you don't want some lamps and you don't want a burnt rice paste shout out to jocelyn tua of alcobar saudi arabia shout out to bert and Teresa regal of nai cavite shout out to john andrew regal of nai cavite shout out to mitch manuzon of san pablo city laguna thank you guys for sharing our videos thank you thank you and thank you so right now you see that it is a lot thicker that is the consistency we like to see and now we are going to add our sugar and just keep stirring it and then after a few minutes of stirring and all of the sugar is well melted you don't see any more granules then we are gonna set this aside and let it cool down so let me stir this a little bit more until i know that all of that sugar is well blended and then i will set it aside to cool down and then in my food processor i am putting the garlic just like so and after the garlic i am going to add the ginger the ginger root and then our onions and don't forget our fish sauce just like so and then pulse it or blend it for two to three minutes that's not gonna be a lot and after three minutes it's gonna look like a paste it's gonna look like just like a paste all right so here we go let me start it so right now i am blending it and putting it like on pulse for two to three minutes and then check in every now and then if my mixture is getting like a paste looking just to make sure that i'm getting the right consistency so i'm going to be opening it and take a look if you notice there's still a lot of grain looking thing it's still a big piece so i will pulse it again for another few minutes probably two minutes and look at that looks what it looks like isn't that awesome so now this is done and i am gonna set aside our mixture until we are ready to mix them all together look at that isn't that gorgeous and the smell who it smells like fish sauce what can i say it's not as pleasant smell but you know what once it's done it's a kimchi and it will be delicious i tell you what and you're not gonna smell that fishy smell anymore so let me take all of this out of here oh man get all that little pieces right there okay and then i am gonna go and use my spatula to scrape all of that goodness into my bowl just like so scrape all those goodness because it will be awesome later i guarantee that you will love it and then now i'm just trying to scrape all of it because i don't want to waste anything 
and look at that look how gorgeous that paste mixture right there see that's beautiful so now we are going to add all of our ingredients together so first thing is our garlic onions mixture the paste and make sure that all of that mixture is going to go into our mixing bowl and now we are going to add our rice paste here we go this is already cooled down that's the reason why we cook that first before anything else just to make sure that it cooled down before we reach this process or these steps there you go just scrape all of that because that makes it delicious all right so the rice helps to ferment our cabbage so this is a very important step there you go so now it is well blended we are now going to add our green onions our carrots and daikon or radish just like so and then make sure to never stop stirring because that's most important make sure everything is well incorporated just like that isn't that beautiful look at that color aren't they so gorgeous like you are literally ready to eat and now we are going to put our hot pepper powder just like so look how beautiful that is the color is gorgeous and man the smell is spicy so i'm just gonna keep stirring this just like so and look how beautiful that is that is awesome shout out to dr paul nabisky and his pa emma of jacksonville florida thank you for watching guys so now we are going to move on and this is our final an hour and a half later and look at all those water our cabbage is now flexible look at that it didn't snap and that's what we like to see so this is done and need to be washed two to three times just to make sure that salt is gone so now i put my gloves on and i'm gonna start mixing this spicy sauce into our cabbage and this is after i washed the cabbage three times okay now it's time to mix it mixing this with your hand is making sure that all of our cabbage are gonna have all that spicy sauce okay so right now i am gonna throw all of that into the cabbage just like so wow that silver thing <laughs> i'm sorry i dunk it too much and then now all i need to do is stir all of this look at all that color it's so beautiful and i know it's gonna be spicy but if you don't like it too spicy make it mild so just put one third cup and that's gonna be mild if you don't want to put the spicy one too it's fine too you can omit that spicy that um hot pepper powder and just use the rest of it except the spiciness but you know it's kimchi is best if it has a little bit kick to it you know so just like that look at that look how gorgeous that cabbage looks that is yummy like you can eat it now you can eat it with your fish or any meat you want so i'm gonna store this in this little container just like so make it nice for storing and i'm not putting it in a bigger container this time so it's easier for me i can eat once and then clean the container and move on because the last time i make it in a bigger container and man i had to keep opening and closing that container for a lot of times until i say you know what it's not going to be good doing this so here i am i learned my lesson i put it in a smaller container so once i finish eating i can just wash the dish and move on you know look at that look how beautiful gorgeous very gorgeous and then look at that in this process i made five container full of deliciousness five container full of these spicy beautiful delicious korean kimchi look at that so this final i am going to put it in my bowl 
because I need to try it. So if you don't want it spicy, omit the hot pepper powder. If you want it mild, use one third. If you want it hot, you put two third. And if you want it super hot, you can put a cup. I put mine half cup, so it's in between mild and hot. So we'll see what it's gonna be. But that looks divine. Here you go guys, enjoy. Here you go guys, our finished product, Korean kimchi. I hope you enjoy our video today. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood hanggang sa muli. Keep smiling, be safe, happy cooking, and God bless. Hi guys, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and share our videos. Until next time, thank you. Bye-bye.